I am Cuban American. I was born here in Miami and my parents are both from Cuba. Um, they came over like, you know, very typical of the um, Cuban immigrant experience. They came over in the 60s. My dad came over when he was a teenager and my mom was a young adult. Um, and, you know, my mom came separated from her family. And like many Cuban immigrants, they left most of their belongings back in Cuba, came here, you know, not really being fluent in the English language and had to start from scratch. And they did work very hard and they were able to create a life and provide my sister and I, you know, with everything that we needed. We never wanted for any necessities. And, you know, despite the struggles, they never once complained about having to start over. They embraced the country, they embraced the opportunities it gave them, and they knew that if they wanted something, they had to work hard for it. And seeing that example, seeing their conduct, seeing their actions more than their words really is what taught me um, you know, and, and instilled in me the virtue of resilience, right? You rise above adversity, you succeed despite difficult circumstances. And I think because of their example and because of what they went through and their experience, I, I know that when I want something, I have to work for it. Obviously, resilience is not unique to the Hispanic culture, but in my case, my culture, my background, my parents' experience is what has really ingrained that in me that it's just a part of, it's a part of me. Um, it's not something that I can, I feel like that I can change because it's just what I've grown up seeing. We very much embrace Cuban food and we make that a part of our lives on the daily. I grew up on arroz and frijoles and my daughters have also grown up on arroz and frijoles. My husband's also Cuban American and, you know, we're both very proud of being Cuban American and we've tried to teach our girls, you know, the history of what it means to be Cuban American and what their grandparents went through and their grandparents experience and to really appreciate that. Being Hispanic and having spoken Spanish as my first language has been um, a very useful tool in my career. I'm actually very proud of my parents for having basically forced us to keep up the Spanish and to speak correctly and learn how to read it and learn how to write it. And it's it's actually pretty um, interesting how despite the fact that Miami has such a large Hispanic community, there there are some attorneys, young attorneys who have Hispanic background who actually do not feel comfortable with the language. So I feel like that has been a very valuable tool for me. You know, it, it, it makes me realize that it is important and, you know, having two young girls myself, I hope that I'm able to instill that in them like my parents did in me so that it benefits them in the future. So I think it's important to understand uh, people's backgrounds and even their culture, because I think both of those things shape the person. So to really get to know a person and to really understand, I think, where they're coming from, it's important to understand how they were raised, right? What experiences they or their parents had. So I would tell someone who's a young professional, maybe feeling um, insecure or struggling with their background, that I think that their background can only help them. Right. Having a different background gives you different perspective and having different perspective, I think, makes you a um, more well-rounded person, a more empathetic person. Um, you can understand differences in other people better because you know that there's aspects of your culture that are different than other cultures. Um, I think in the case of having a Hispanic culture, if you speak Spanish, I think that's a huge asset. Um, I think the Hispanic culture is very warm and I think you have to be true to your culture, true to how you were raised. And even if other people may not, um, you know, may not have been raised the same way, I think it's okay to embrace how you were raised and show that to others. Um, I'm very proud of being Hispanic and, and I, I love the Hispanic culture and I love that it's, it's warm, it's friendly, it's inviting. Um, and I think that's why I live in Miami. <laughs>